Hello YouTube, this is another Nico problem called find all duplicates in an array. Given an array of integers 1 less than ai less or equal to n, when you see something like this, that uh, you should think of the bucket sort. Some elements appear twice and other appear once. Find all elements that appear twice in this array. Could you do it without actual space in O n runtime? Okay, if there is no such such constraint, we can just uh, using a hash map to count the frequency of each element. If the element uh, appear twice, then we just output that. But for now, we cannot allocate the actual space. So also the the array size is n and the value of each element is also within n so we can use bucket sort bucket sort is something like this like for this example we loop uh, the, fir the, uh, the, uh, the four the first element after one bucket sort we after one bucket we swap we swap the fourth element which is seven with four and then we again we swap seven with the seventh element which is three which is three and again we swap three with the third element which is two and again we we swap with the second element which is two three two and next when we want try to swap we found that three equals to three so we know three is duplicated so we just loop this process so let's do that first thing let's uh, list uh, give it a result list new array list integer if length equal to now or length dot length equal to zero in this case we just return result otherwise we loop this length array length dot length i plus plus first thing we need to check we need to do uh, we keep uh, keep swapping elements if length i law equal to i plus one if last i equal to i, I plus one it means that uh, the element uh, position equals to the element value if not we just uh, we need to just swap if the element i equal to the element last i minus one which means that uh, like three three here we found there are duplicates so we add it to the uh, result array and we do not want to we do not want to touch this bucket or this position so we set it to negative one we also set the target uh, place to negative one because the valid value is between one and n to negative one and then we break out so here if we encounter any elements that is equal to negative one, we just continue. We we skip over this uh, this uh, this position, and also here, if we find nas i actually is equal to nas one, we just break up. There's no need for us to uh, to continue to loop. And others we need to swap. We give the index right here. We need to swap. We need to swap. This is the swap place that we need to care. So we just uh, need, we need to swap nouns i and nouns index place. Nouns index was assigned to temp. This is a swap. So with this process. We finally put an element to the place where its value is equal to its position. So after this process, we got the duplicated number. So here we just return the results. Let's run code.
lungs oh actually lungs actually we do not need that we don't need this anymore so reset this to negative one okay that worked uh, let me submit Okay guys, as you could see, that worked uh, here, we are using the bucket saw. The bucket, the idea for bucket saw is that we keep keep swapping until the element find a targeted place to, to place this element. The targeted place is that the, the position is equal to the elements itself, all because why we think of the bucket saw? Oh, because because of this, and we cannot uh, allocate extra space. So let me know if we have a better solution. Thank you.